Dave from Aerial Edge LLC. I wanted to uh, take a moment and show a couple of uh, capabilities that these drones have now. Um, over the next couple of weeks, I'll be making a kind of a series of videos highlighting some of the capabilities and showing what, what they can do um, and some things they can't do. So um, basically, I was doing a little bit of a test run uh, doing roof inspections. Now, when conducting a roof inspection, there's a lot of different things that can be done. Um, primarily, a lot of pictures can be done into an ortho mosaic and um, basically a 3D model of the house can be made with the roof. And a roof report can be generated that has all kinds of different sizes, uh, the pitch, uh, all your facets, everything that you need to, need to know to build a roof job. Um, one of the other capabilities that is pretty simple also is to be able to take a video. Now, this drone has ability to use a FLIR camera and shoots in 4K at the same time. So anytime I'm actually taking a video, it's taken in both. Uh, obviously, 4K is much higher resolution. Um, the FLIR infrared sensors are much lower resolution. Um, also, you can overlay the FLIR and the visual video. And what that does is it takes the lower resolution of the infrared and allows you to see details to better make out what exactly you're looking at. So, this is right here. Let me go ahead and open this up. This is actually the video that was shot. Um, this was shot continuously with the infrared, and we'll look at that next. But, as you can see, moving through on the 4K, I was in infrared at the time. It moves kind of fast. It's hard to see detail. Um, but that's all just operator controls. So let's go ahead and start this video. So right now it's shooting in 4K and what I'm doing, um, you'll notice in the thermal, I'm switching between what the infrared and what they call MSX mode. MSX is what FLIR allows you to overlay the visuals so you have more detail. So now I'm going to start panning over and what I'm doing is I'm looking at the roof in thermal. The thermal imaging will allow you to see hidden uh, damage or moisture has penetrated the roof and it's holding moisture and as it holds moisture um, as the sun load comes off the roof it holds heat longer so you'll see heat anomalies underneath the surface now we can see up in here there's some shingles it's getting kind of old this roof there's a repair that was done right there so that's definitely um, a visual aspect and that's why we can see some of the things on visual and we won't be able to see on the thermal and vice versa. Um, but the neat capabilities with this is I can shoot a continuous video. It's shooting it in 4K HD and in the thermal. So um, instead of having to splice the videos together, I decided I'd just record the screen here. That allows me to switch back and forth between these and I can show you. So now let me go to the thermal. And you're going to notice the resolution is not nearly as good as the other one. Um, you can see right in here, this is your MSX detail, and I'm going to switch back and forth between them um, before I even start so you'll be able to see the difference. So let's go ahead and roll on the infrared here. So running in MSX mode, now I switched into straight thermal, and you notice there's a lack of detail because of the resolution. Now I'm back in MSX, back into standard infrared, back into MSX. And I could have done a calibration here and I should have it would have offset the overlay better and you can calibrate it's called an FFC calibration uh, I didn't perform it on this because I was just doing some practice runs and uh, messing with some of the uh, parameters that you can set on the remote control uh, primarily getting some visual video but I decided since my battery was getting low and I brought it back to the land I'd go ahead and just show a basic roof inspection um, this is just going through the uh, 4K video and the IR. And you notice with the roof, there is no underlying moisture that can be found. Now, as we go back to the other side, let me go ahead and pause it and back up. So as we go back to this side of the roof, you notice there's a lot more heat um, in the roof. This is the western side. This is just after sundown. The western side had a much longer or closer heat load because the sun had been on that side the, most of the day. Um, so you can definitely see as you move into here in this area definitely less heat load than when you get on the western side so eastern sides definitely doesn't have nearly as much heat load on it so um, 
just one of the things I kind of wanted to go over and kind of show. I'm going to be going through and making a series of these videos um, to show the capabilities, um, what certain inspections detail, and uh, kind of how they're done. So uh, I get a lot of questions with that, and you know, it's nice to be able to show people exactly what's going on. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Um, hope you subscribe, and uh, hope to have a lot better material coming up real soon.